Hello. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to format a paper in the MLA style in Microsoft Word. So, first thing we're going to want to do is put in our page numbers and then edit them. And that is a lot easier if you're zoomed in um, because it requires some precision clicking. So, let's go ahead and zoom in to <clears throat> about 180 something. There we go. Now, we're going to go to Insert page number, top of page, and the one you want is plane number three. Now you might be able to see, not might not be able to see this on your screen, but the one that you want is plane number three. So give it a click and there we are. Now you'll notice that the one has a gray box around it. What that means is that that number is going to change from page to page. If you accidentally delete that one and just type one in, <clears throat> Microsoft Word will think, oh, you want the number one on every page. So if that uh, gray box one ever disappears, stop and hit undo until you get it back and then try again. Now, in MLA style, the page numbers always have the author's, uh, the author of the paper's last name in front of them. So let's go ahead and put that in with a space. Now, you'll notice that we're in a special uh, menu here. So uh, when we're done doing everything that we need to do to make this correct, we're going to hit close header and footer. And you'll see that again in a little bit. Now, uh, let's take a look at the font being used. Okay. Now, uh, for pretty much any time you just open it and start working with it, uh, Microsoft Word defaults to Calibri and the size defaults to 11. And those aren't what we use in MLA. What you're going to want to use for MLA papers is either Times New Roman or Courier New, and the size is going to be 12. So for this paper, let's use Times New Roman. So we're going to set it to Times New Roman and then set it to 12. And we'll have to do this again when we get back out in the body of the paper, but we'll fix it once and for all when we get there. Now, if everything is the way it needs to be, you hit Design close header and footer and it takes you out of the header and footer and it'll turn gray that's okay when if you print it out or when i see it online it'll it'll be uh, nice and dark so now the next thing we need to put in is the identifying information that goes at the top of every mla paper and here's what it is it's your full name first and last the instructor's name the course name and the due date for the paper. Now, uh, for the due dates papers, it's a little different depending on the class. If you are in a physical class with me where we meet once or twice a week, you're going to use the day, due date that's on the syllabus for that particular paper. It's really easy. Now, if you were in a synchronous or asynchronous online class, um, where your paper is due like an entire week, the easiest thing for you to do is just use the Sunday that's the last day that the paper can be turned in on time, which is uh, the Sunday for that week. Uh, just use that date and that's fine. Uh, also, uh, MLA dates are a little different. They're not month, day, year, they're day, month, year. So I'm just gonna pull an, uh, a date out of air, out of thin air, uh, February, February 14th, February 14th, 2023. But on our paper, it's going to be 14 February 2023. Notice that the day comes first, then the month. Now, all of this matters because this is a category on the rubric, and I am grading for this. And many, and you don't want to lose points if you don't have to, simply because you're not being careful. So this video can help you a lot with that, uh, with making sure that you're doing all this properly. Now, notice that it is a different font from our header and that won't work. You need one unified font through your entire paper. So let's go here to insert our home. Uh, we're going to select all. Uh, uh, let's see here. I'm just going to do this. And then we will go Times New Roman. 12 and also we need to set our line spacing because MLA papers uh, the spacing is double spaced so we're going to go to the paragraph section here 
we're going to go to line and paragraph spacing, give it a click, and we're going to hit 2.0. And notice that it's significantly spaced out now. All right, so we've got our four identifying items in. Now we're ready to put in our title. So we're going to hit the enter button once. We're going to come over here to paragraph and go to center. Center it. Your title is centered. And we type our title. And fix any mistakes we make. Now, if you're unsure of what you're supposed to capitalize and not capitalize in your titles, that's fine. Uh, go to my go to Blackboard and go to my presentation on capitalization and uh, open it up and you'll find near the end a section devoted to titles and that includes the titles for your own papers uh, and it will tell you exactly what you should and shouldn't capitalize. Uh, notice also that the uh, that there's no special uh, font for this. It looks just like everything else. Don't make it bigger. Don't make it smaller. Don't make it italicized or underlined. None of that stuff. It should look just like the rest of your paper. Uh, centering is the only special thing you do to it. So we're going to hit return. We're going to go back to align left and we're going to hit tab because that indents our paragraph. Every paragraph needs to be indented. That first line is going to be bumped in. All the rest will be flush with the margin. And we're going to type our first paragraph. And I've got one free ready for us. So I'm just going to paste it in like that. OK, now when you're ready to start a new paragraph, you hit the enter button just one time. That's all you hit enter once you hit tab and then you write your next paragraph. And again, I've got one ready for us. Um, right here. Now, you'll notice that there are in-text citations in this paragraph. It's because this is a research paper and I have included research, or the student has included research, that um, not, is not from his or her personal experience. So whenever you do that, whenever you get information from anything other than yourself, from the internet, from a book, from a website, from a YouTube video, from a Facebook post, it doesn't matter. You have to cite where it came from. Uh, and in-text citations are part of that, and all, so are works cited citations. Uh, so let's go ahead and put in our works cited page, and I'll talk a little bit more about in-text and works cited citations once we've done that. So let's pretend that this is the end of our paper. So we're going to do a page break. We're going to hit Control and Enter. Start to do a page break there. I'll scroll down a little bit, and then we're going to center again, and then we're going to type works cited. Now, you only have to do this if you have research in your paper. If you didn't put any research in your paper, you won't need any citations or a works cited page. So we're going to hit, we're going to hit enter again. We're going to go back to align left, and then we can start putting in our citations. Now, if you don't know how to do those citations, I have presentations on both in-text and works cited citations in my presentations folder in Blackboard. So you just have to look them up for more information. Now, let's talk about how to submit your paper while we're at this. The first thing you're going to want to do is save your paper. Now you can save it as a docx file. So we're going to save it. We're going to save this one to the desktop. So you can save it as a Word document or you can save it as a PDF file. I will take either one. Uh, since it's Microsoft Word, the easiest thing to do is just save it, save it as a docx file uh, and be done with it. Um, but I'll leave that up to you, either file type. Don't use any other file type and do not ever send you, me a link to your paper. I can't grade links, I can only grade files and files have to be submitted to Blackboard. And that is how you format a paper in the MLA style in Blackboard. Um, now, because of limitations with the software I'm using, I'm doing I'm going to have a separate video on how to actually upload it. Um, so be looking for that, a link for that in Blackboard. Um, otherwise, again, if you have any problems or questions with uh, about this process, please let me know with an email, uh, visit my office. Uh, send me a Blackboard message or give me a phone call and I'll be more than happy to help you with it. 
Uh, thanks for watching.